Thank you for visiting the help desk at Redline Controls. This seven-part series will help you understand the features and functions of Crimson 2.0, our main configuration tool for our new series of HMI. Part 7 will cover downloading, uploading, and accessing your compact flashcard. Now that we have stepped through the six major categories of Crimson 2.0, it may be best to show you now how to successfully download, upload, and access your compact flashcard in your HMI. First, to download, you can select a number of options. First, by selecting the link menu, you may either select Update or Send. If the same database that is in your HMI is the same as the one you are working on, selecting Update will just send any changes that may have been made since your last download. However, by selecting Update, and you have a different database in your HMI versus the one we are using on the software, Update will revert to Send, which will clear the memory and send the new database in its entirety. To upload a database from the HMI into the software, you may select the Extract from the link menu. However, upon initial download of the configuration to the HMI, if Support Unload is unchecked, as you see here, the Extract function will not work. Only if Support Upload is checked will Extract be able to work properly. To access information from your compact flashcard, you can select Mount Flash. By mounting the flash, this will allow you to access your G3 like it would if it was a removable hard drive. If you turn this feature off, you would select Dismount Flash. 